Today we're at the Citadel, or the Tower of David, which has many layers. It starts out as an early Israelite fortress. Maccabean fortress was built in this period in this foundation in the second century, followed by three big towers of Herod just north of his palace. Later there's Byzantine structure here, a Crusader era fortress, and then the Arabs and the Turks built on this site. It's now called the Citadel, or in memory, of David, the Tower of David, although David himself never built anything here. So I'm going to go inside with my lovely wife, Elaine. So here we are inside the citadel, and it looks like, well, it's just an Arab and Turkish wall here. But they've opened up this little gateway for us, and we look in, and what do we see? Those are Herodian ashlars, my friend. Yes, yes. And you have great big stones like that with finished margins. Those are Herodian stones because Herod originally built three massive towers here and a fortress just north of his palace. That palace is significant, as we'll find out, because that's probably where the Roman governor was. That's where the trial of Jesus before Pilate would have been. Look at that lovely woman. She's not. She might be Byzantine, but she looks American. All right, we're looking at the base of the great Fazael Tower built by Herod the Great. Titus, when he destroyed the city in 70 AD, left this intact partially to help protect his military camp, the, the fortress of the 10th Legion that became the permanent garrison here, but also to remind subsequent people what a great city he had overtaken. Notice that these stones are larger with the finished borders, both the foundation part there and the next. As we move up, we see smaller stones. This is from a later period, the Mamluk period, post-Crusader. So the top part of this tower is from a later period. And then a lot of this is Ottoman. But we see what's remaining of another one of the three towers built by Howard, Howard the Great. And then as we're moving this way, the third one, now stretching below the fortress that began with these three towers was the great palace of Herod, which was on the far side. And this was taken over by the Roman prefects and later procurators. So this is where Pilate would have been. Not here, this would have been the fortress proper, but over that wall. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment.